All right, so now what we're going to do is we're going to take a look through the syllabus. And this is actually the second time recording this video because as I started the other one, I noticed that we had a, uh, had a typo that I had to fix. It was pretty bad, but that's all great. I am not going to read you the syllabus line for line because I'm figuring at this point in your academic careers, you can handle reading a syllabus, but I do want to go through and hit some of the high points and just make sure that we understand what is going on. The syllabus has got a lot of great information in it. Kind of like right here in the beginning, I tell you, you know, why? What is this class? Why we're doing it and everything. So please just take a couple minutes and read through this. Um, I have a little section here about why you should care, what you're going to learn, what you're going to learn to do. But let's skip down to here. So how can you succeed in learning? This really should be an easy to class to succeed in as long as you follow these couple rules. And one is be ready to work. We have a lot of work to do in this class because we have a lot of numbers to crunch. We have to figure out how we're going to make those relationships. This is pro this along with MBA 690, Analytics of Operations Management, which is the direct follow on to this class if you're in the MBA track. These are going to be the two classes that probably have the most amount of work. If you're taking 687 as part of the new Masters of Business Analytics, well, we just started that, so I have absolutely no idea if this is going to be uh, you know, more or less work compared to those classes. So we're just going to deal with the, the MBA. So make sure that you come to class ready to learn. And it's not just learning, it's working. We are going to be working in these classes. Uh, you need to do your homework and, and your assignments and whatnot. This is an MBA class, so it's mostly assignments based, not homework based. And so you can always reach out to me for help. Uh, make sure you read your textbook and other materials. Reading the textbook before we cover something in class actually really helps, because even if you don't understand what's in the textbook, it gets those questions ready. So when we go over things, if it's not hit, you know what you want to ask. And that is the most important thing, ask questions. If you completely don't understand something, please ask me. Don't feel bad about it. You're paying for my time. You should get value for your money. And the way you get more value is by asking for more. And the way you get more is asking for questions. And if you're a little uncomfortable about, you know, uh, I don't want to ask this question in front of everybody, shoot me an email. We can meet via Zoom. We can meet in my office hours and anything like that. But I do want to bring up, even if you think, oh, I don't want to ask this question because I don't want to look dumb because everybody else seems to know it, I can guarantee you if you're thinking that one, two, three, or the entire class is thinking the same thing. So that's uh, the, from the past year with Zoom. That's one of the things that I'd always said that but really realized it when I had, would have eight students DM me and go, I don't understand this part right here. And you could see that, yeah, you know, most of the class really needed some more. So please ask questions. So what resources are available to help you? Well, I am. I am the instructor. You can always reach me via email, Robert or rcamp at providence.edu. My office is in Ryan on the second floor. Now, just to confuse all of y'all, we put both doctor camps on the same floor. In fact, we're in the same wing of the building. So if you get to a big, beautiful office, that's not my office. I have a much smaller one down the hall. So if you've hit the other doctor camp's office, come look for mine. Now, my office hours, I have been running them Tuesdays from 1030 to 12. If you're a working professional, obviously, that isn't going to work. So I do have office hour and, and office hour set right before this class. So six to seven, you can come to my office, we can sit down and chat, or you can make an appointment and we can, we can meet either in my office or, like I said, via Zoom, and we can talk about whatever needs to be going on. Ah, so this class will be every Wednesday from 7 to 9.20. There are no switch days this semester, so we'll be here, you know, Wednesday for MBAs is going to be Wednesday all semester long. So, text, what are you going to need? Well, first of all, we need from Cengage the book Business Analytics, the second, excuse me, the seventh edition by Winston and Albright. It is an excellent textbook. Um, this book and actually the book from MBA 680, or excuse me, 690, Analytics and Operations Management, is also written by Winston and Albright, both fantastic textbooks. These are ones that if you're going to buy a hard copy of them, hold on to them because they are actually going to be useful later on in life. 
And there's some online supplemental material that you can download via the, the link that I have in the course, in the syllabus right here. And you are going to need that because of a couple of the assignments that we do. We're going to be starting with data sets that are prepared by the book. So the required program, you are going to need Microsoft Excel. And we're going to be doing a lot of Excel in this class. And we are going to be using some specific add-ins, or actually just one specific add-in. Now, you can either use a Mac or PC. Uh, you need Excel version 2007 and newer. And then you'll have to activate the data analysis pack within that. It's, it's a free upgrade. It's already there. When we get to that point, I will show you how to put it in. If you have a 2011 and above version of Mac, you're going to have to install this third-party add-in called Stat Plus Mac. You'll have to look for that and find that online. Um, Mac 2016 or newer, you also just have to activate the data analysis pack. Now, the thing is, is because you are students at Providence College, you can go into the I help desk IT on the Providence College website and get Office 365 for free while you're a student. So that's great because that basically gives you the newest version of Excel. And I would recommend that or, and I will show you when we do the Sakai tour, you can access the virtual desktop and be able to run the newest version of PC Excel through the, through the internet by running a virtual desktop. I highly encourage the PC version of Excel just because the Mac version does some goofy things. And that's actually going with my note here. I am not a Mac user. And there are, once again, there's some goofy things that happen with Mac Excel. So Mac users should either consider Boot Camp or Parallels to run a Windows version of Excel. I don't know, but I think this requires you purchasing a Windows OS. Ah, I, re I highly do not encourage you to have to spend money on that, but use the PC virtual desktop. Um, just note, if you're using a Mac Excel and we run into some weird problems, I will try to help you as much as I can, but you may have to do some independent troubleshooting just because it's, it's different than um, the Excel on the PC. Also, this is a big note, Google Sheets is not Excel. Um, Google Sheets is, it's a garbage uh, spreadsheet program. It doesn't do any of the things that we need to do in Excel. So don't even try to use it. You're not going to be able to pull up the stats functions and everything that we are going to be doing in this class. So it is, you are required to have some version of Excel. But once again, you're part of the MBA program. You have it for free in a couple different places. You're also going to need Tableau. We're going to do some basic Tableau in this class. You can download Tableau for free being a student by following the link in my syllabus here. They'll give it to you for personal use. Tableau is a fantastically cool program, and I really want to be able to do more with it because it does a great job of showing off data. Okay, so the important thing, how are we going to evaluate your learning? Because that's what everybody wants to know. How is my grade put together? So we're going to have two what I call mini cases. These are an individual assignment. And it's basically, we're going to give you a situation. You're going to solve the situation and you're going to support, you're going to submit some kind of written case for the mini case. And that's typically a one page executive summary supporting your analysis. And these are all going to be due at the beginning of the class when we're coming up. So the 7 p.m of the week it's due so we can have it coming into class and be able to talk about it. We're also gonna have two group projects. Now these are group assignments. And these are gonna be a little bit bigger. You're gonna work in groups of two to three, depending on the size of the class. And it's gonna be the same thing. It's gonna be an Excel analysis. There might be some Tableau with it. We will have a one page executive summary. And Ideally, we'll have some five, we'll have some presentations involved with the group projects because I'm very big on that, and we'll see as we go along with the class. So between those two right there, that's 60% of your grade. We do have an Excel Tableau assignment that is one of the first things that we're going to do, and it's basically testing you on or reacquainting you with the basics of Excel and really teaching you the basics of Tableau. And this is to make sure that we all have the same baseline understanding of the class, which 
should be not too much of a problem. And so the last thing, the big thing is we do have a final project in the class. It is a group assignment. It is, I love this assignment. It's gonna cover everything that we've done in the class. Data exploration, statistics, hypothesis testing, predictive models, and it's a neat little case and it's just a complete mess. So there's a lot to do. I'm gonna highly encourage you to work on it throughout the semester. And we, you see it, it's broken up into two parts, a mid-semester part, mid part, which is to make sure that you've started the project and you've been working on it. There'll be three starter things that I'll ask you to do. Say, do this, do this, do this. You can obviously do more, but it really is a check to make sure that you've started working on the project. And then the final, project submission itself will be worth 25 percent of your grade and that's going to include a written report a bunch of excel stuff and a final presentation in class and so as i said it's highly recommended that you work throughout the semester and da, da, da. so the final deliverables here we can see is the excel analysis tableau dashboards which is something that we will not get into in this class but you can do for extra credit it's actually not that bad. You can find plenty of tutorials online for it. It's slightly more advanced in Tableau, but I do offer extra credit if you do do it in class. There's going to be a two-page executive summary, a six to ten-page report, and that 15-minute presentation in class. And so that covers all of what we're going to do with the grading. Okay, so I am going to end the video here and I'm going to continue the syllabus review in the next video because we're getting a little bit long on this one. So I will see you in the next video.